All right, here's another vector addition example. All right, a simpler one. Let's just say, well, not simpler, but same thing, just not as many steps. Let's say we have a quarterback who's located right here, and we have a receiver who's located right here. And let's say this receiver is uh, 15 yards away. Uh, so the, the receiver ran 15 yards this way. Then the receiver runs, let's say, f uh, five yards this way. Then the receiver runs, let's say, at a 45, uh, let's go 30 degree angle. So I, I could probably uh, let's draw that a little bit steeper. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's probably not much better. 30 degrees. And let's say they go for two yards and. Uh, I want then the quarterback throws a football and the football lands right on the money. How far did the football have to travel? And what angle did this football have to be thrown at? So let's take a moment and let's start adding up our vectors. We have X component, we have the Y component. The first one offered us up uh, in, in the x component 15 yards, zero for the x, for the, for the y. Next one gave us five yards for the y, but nothing for the zero. And then next one, we have this slight angle here, 30 degrees. And in this component, we have an x component and a y component. So I'm going to, this is two yards, let's use some math, the sine of the 30 degrees times 2 uh, should give us our y component and the cosine of 30 times the 2 should give us our x component um, the opposite being the y, the adjacent being the x um, so parsing this in our calculator we got the sine of 30 times 2 equals 2.5 I won't put that wrong, sorry that's the sine of 30 is 0.5 sine of 30 equals 0.5 times 2 equals 1 okay, 1 and this is going to be 10 so uh, sorry. one point seven three alright so this little angle dealy here caused us to move one in the x in the y direction and one point seven three in the x direction let's add them all up we got six for the y component we have x component we got fifteen sixteen point seven three let's rebuild our new vector it's going to be in the x component it is 16.73 in the y component it is 6 and what is that angle going to be here and what is the length of the resultant alright so we could use the Pythagorean theorem to get the r so it's going to be 16.73 squared plus 6 squared um, equals the r squared all right, 16.73 squared plus 6 squared equals the square root of that answer equals uh, r, uh, which is 17.7 uh, meters. And then we can use any of our trig functions to find this angle. Um, Let's use the cosine function. So the cosine of the angle equals the opposite or the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is going to be 16.73 over 17.7. And this angle is 0.93. Uh,
And at this point, 0.93, and then the, the pen's not working here, it looks like, but the second cosine of that guy. equals 19.05 degrees and uh, that would be 19.05 degrees and our angle here would be there we go, so maybe that'll work 19.05 degrees, my pen for some reason doesn't want to work um, and it would be north of east uh, there we go and that is it. Thank you very much.